uh, a Bloomberg story, and it basically says five under the radar billionaires making vast fortunes in Modi's India. Five under the radar billionaires making vast fortunes. So what this means is basically that it is beyond the Ambani's and the Adani's. There are other people making a large amount of money who are doing it quietly under the radar, not in the glare of public eye. Now, who are these people? We do know, of course, and this is it starts off with this uh, data. India's ultra rich. And you'll see that in China, there's China, of course, and the change over the period is 47 percent. But India has seen the largest increase um, in uh, the pace of growth for the ultra rich. Uh, so, you know, the guarantee of growth that we're seeing is actually for the super, 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 super rich and not for all of us. Um, so in India, you'll see that, you know, it's been a f uh, we've had 50 billionaires grow out of this term in office. And of course, there is Mukesh Ambani and uh, Gautam Adani, but there are others as well. So there's a list of these people. It's very interesting. P.B. Krishna Reddy, Managing Director of Mega Engineering and Infrastructures. You'll also remember when electoral bonds data came out, Mega Engineering was the biggest donor. This person's net worth is $8.3 billion. Now, uh, is a Hyderabad-based pipe maker from the late 80s, who has since then propelled estimated wealth from $2 billion to $8 billion in, this, in the term of the Modi government from 2015 to where we are today. Now, what are the businesses this person is, mega, uh, is, is involved in? Uh, now, it has an order book of apparently $24 billion at the end of September, according to Crystal. Now, there's irrigation, which is largely uh, what they're engaged in. There's also the bullet train for Mumbai, between Mumbai and Ahmedabad. There is a Jojila tunnel in the Himalayan region and a refinery construction project in Mongolia. So it's getting a lot of tenders from the government. That's P.V. Krishna Reddy. You can see that first photograph of a billionaire worth $8.3 billion and also the largest donor uh, through electoral bonds over five years. Next one is Satya Narayan Nual, uh, the chairman of Solar Industries and the businesses that they're in are industrial explosives, defense equipment worth $6.9 billion. Uh, now this, uh, this billionaire who apparently slept at a railway station during his early days, has grown uh, you know, under the name Solar to India's largest maker and exporter of industrial explosives with a presence in 75 countries. He left school at the age of 18 and he's done really well since then. Then we have, uh, we have Mr. Patel of Nirma. You'll remember washing powder Nirma, right? So washing powder Nirma, a lot of us will remember from our youth. It has since then, a diversified business into consumer goods, chemicals, cement, and education. He's worth $6.6 .6 billion. Um, and apart from just you know, starting off and selling soap, they have since then also bought up uh, a lot of interesting companies. So they've acquired Imami Group cement and grinding units. Uh, they have also acquired uh, Glenmark Life Sciences at $680 million. So washing powder Nirma has now become a billionaire owned business. Then of course, there's Chandru Raheja of K Raheja Corp, which is, in, which is a real estate developer, commercial real estate developer worth $3.6 billion, real estate, hospitality, retail, and power utilities. So um, K Raheja Corp has built, for example, shopper stops over the country, crossword bookstores, Inorbit Mall, um, Charlotte Hotels, Business Parks, Mind Space. You'll, you'll know Mind Space if you're in Mumbai. It's massive. Um, and the company has declined to comment on the surging wealth of its founders. Then, of course, this I find very interesting. This individual, Acharya Balakrishna, is the managing director of Patanjali Ayurved. He looks, this gentleman in the white outfit, who looks very unassuming and really simple and is always standing in the background next to Baba Ramdev is worth $3.8 billion in and largely from the Patanjali Ayurved business. Uh, also, all of this money has been made during this period of this government. So um, 